If you're anything like us, then you probably spend more time than you should looking at all sorts of different boats on the internet. This is particularly true for us because we're in the phase where we're looking, window shopping, and researching to try to find the boat that we might want to buy starting around next June. One of the challenges that I've found when it comes to comparing and contrasting different boats that you find on the internet is that when you see the floor plan, the floor plans, they're different scales, and it's hard to compare one picture to another. You don't know, uh, Fontaine Peugeot the Pari 41, how does that compare to a, a Lagoon 400? Uh, you see the pictures, but when you try to put them side by side, it doesn't really um, compare. So what I was doing was I created a scale in a Photoshop file where I could put the different floor plans for the different boats in and have them be the same relative scale on the screen, foot per pixel. And I decided that, that tool was really useful. Anytime I found a new interesting kind of boat, I would put it in this tool and compare to what I knew. So I've been working on the website for our channel. So over the weekend I decided I would add on to our website a free tool that would allow you guys to compare and contrast different boat floor plans that are all scaled the same, which I'm going to show right now. All right, so I'm going to pop up the website here, and you're going to see this is just our website. It's still very much a work in progress, and we're just kind of getting started with everything. But this is how it is right now, in this moment in time. We have this homepage here of us sailing infinitely into the future. There's all sorts of our social media and stuff down below. But on the top here, you'll see that there is this floor plan tool button on the right. So if we go ahead and click that, that brings us to this floor plan page. On this page we have a ruler across the top that uh, shows feet and this, it's the same rule across the bottom. It's scaled proportionally. And on the left hand side here we see that there are lots of different floor plans for different sorts of boats. All you have to do is hover over the boat option and the floor plan will come up. Now these floor plans are all the same scale, meaning they have the same amount of pixels per foot. So you can genuinely compare different boats around 40 feet and see what, see what they're like compared to one another. So in order to compare the boats, all you're going to do is, well, let's compare the older Lagoon 410 compared to the newer Lagoon 400. Uh, Lagoon 400 is right here. We'll compare, let's compare the three cabin Lagoon 410. All you got to do is click on it, and then we'll also compare the new Lagoon 400 S2 with uh, three cabins and two heads. All right. And what we'll do is, after you click them, they come to the top here and it's selected for a comparison area. The way this works is whichever is highest up, these, these are layers, you can imagine layers of blueprints and the, high, the one on top is the one you see. And if you want to see the one underneath, you just click hide to hide it. If you want to show it again, you can either click show or you can just toggle, just keep on clicking the hide button to convert back and forth. So this will allow us to very easily, in the same place, compare the different floor plans. All the boats start here at zero feet. They, so the stern of the boat all touch the zero foot line. So as we toggle back and forth here, now the images are, of course, you can tell that the 410 blueprint is dated. I don't come up with the blueprints, I'm just taking the ones that I can find off the internet and putting them here. You know, like I said, it's all free to use. So if we compare the two blueprints, you can see that the 410 is a little bit longer, but it's got sharper, narrower holes. If you compare the floor plans, they have about the same size salon. This is one of the things that we're really curious, is to compare similar size boats to one another, and to, to kind of get a feel for what layout might suit our style, I guess you'd say. Um, you know, as we continue toggling back and forth here, you can see that a lot of things are very comparable between the two boats. Now, if you want to compare, maybe a bigger comparison, let's say, let's compare a Lagoon 400 to a Lagoon 440. All we have to do here is click clear on the Lagoon 410, and we can even use this uh, little search bar here. If we just type in 440, it'll automatically search and find the two 440 floor plans I have here. So let's click the three cabin version. Now up here, we have the 400 on top. If we hide that, we see the 440. Now this gives you a pretty good feel this, you know, you can tell easily right here the salon and galley area 440 is bigger. Um, you would know it's bigger if you were just doing the research, but to see them laid on top of each other, at least for me, I found very useful. Um, you can also see kind of the, the extra beam on the 440. How does that actually translate into overall surface area? You can kind of get a, you know, an impression of it here. The other way to use this tool is if you're comparing different floor plans of the same model boat. So in here we have the different Lagoon 39s, which is a, a newer model boat Lagoon has out. And they have five different standard floor plans here. And if, it makes it very easy to compare. So let's just click all five of these floor plans which will add them to the top here. Now we can see the 
Lagoon 39 2 cabin right here. This is a standard version. If we toggle back and forth, you can see that the deluxe version has a much bigger berth. It's got a little seating area and a vanity hanging lockers for both sides. If we compare this to the three cabin version, you'll see what the non-owner side, how they utilize its space. And one of the things that I find particularly interesting here is if you pay attention to the bulkheads here, the bulkheads don't move. Right? So everything is kind of built within the confines of the bulkheads. So for us, if we're potentially going to like uh, maybe move things around in our boat, this gives some insight onto where you could potentially move things around. So if we compare the two different four cabin versions, this is four cabin two head versus four cabin four head. So this is the tool. It's pretty straightforward. It's brand new. I've tested it on a couple different browsers, but if you find any bugs, please feel free to email us and I'll work on them. We're also, right now, the number of boats that are listed here are a little bit limited. I am adding new ones every day, but if you want to see a boat that's not here, a floor plan, please just email and I can add it. It's really not a big deal. Right now it's catamarans because that's what we're looking at, but I can also add monoholes in here. So yeah, yeah, feel free to use this tool. If you like the tool, if you find it really useful and it's within your means, I added a little donate button here. It's completely optional. You don't have to donate any money, but you know we're trying to save for our boat and any little bit helps. Either way, it's PCI compliant and you don't have to worry about I use Stripe for the credit card processing and PayPal if you just want to use PayPal. And that's it. If you're curious, please like and subscribe. You know, we're in the process of saving up for our boat and documenting all the learning and research that's going into it. And, you know, follow us on our journey as we realize this dream that we have and make it come to fruition. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Thank you.